in this video let's start working on the concept of instrumental variable so what is this this is a tool in econometrics to protect against omitted variable bias now let, no, let, let's recall when that happens so whenever we have a regression model like in this case based on one variable we take a simple one whenever we have a correlation between the error term and the independent variable and we know that the error term also affects the outcome then we know we suffer from omitted variable bias because part of the effect that the slope coefficient carries so part of the effect that goes from x towards y happens because of x and also because of the error term whatever that is since they are correlated so if we write it mathematically what happens is this that the change in y that happens when we change x occurs due to two reasons so it happens because of a change in x and it also happens because the change in error term Whenever x changes, something changes in the error term as well, since we have this correlation. Now, how do we write this mathematically to show that this slope coefficient is going to be biased? Well, let's see. The slope coefficient is beta hat. That's how we show it, right? This is a regression. Now, we know that beta hat is showing us the change in y relative to a change in x. And what we just discussed is that the change in y happens due to two factors. It happens due to a change in x and it happens due to a change in the error term. So let's show that. We have a change in y due to the, the change in x, so due to x, plus a change in y due to the error term divided by the change in x. So this happens when x increases by one unit. Now, what we know is that the change in y due to x, whenever x increases by one unit, that is, that is the slope coefficient. This is beta. This is change in y that happens due to x when x increases by one unit. But we have left one term. So in other words, if we write the math, what we have is that this is the slope coefficient. This is the beta that we're trying to estimate, but we're left with the change in y due to the error term when we increase x. So what we notice is that this is, this is biased. This term, the uh, slope coefficient, does not represent accurately the population coefficient, does not represent accurately the uh, effect in the entire population because we have this term that we are missing and that's what causing our estimate to be biased it is not accurate now what does um, actually you know what let's leave it like that in this video make sure you understand this in the next one we're going to go through some math to derive how the covariances work between uh, the terms when we use the instrumental variable